One of the major challenges in writing an extended essay is choosing and narrowing a topic. For this course, you're required to choose a topic that is related to your field of study, and the topic must be persuasive. But before we get there, we must first narrow the topic. And in order to do so, we begin by brainstorming. Consider looking at your topic and using one of the brainstorming exercises, such as clustering, where you may write the uh, the main uh topic uh, in a circle and then write related areas around it. You might list everything you can think that is related or show some interest for you in the topic. And from there, you may be able to come up with a more formalized topic, such as mental health. But mental health is still really too broad. And as you think about it, you think maybe what I want to write about is the stigma of mental health. But that too is equally broad. So the next step would be to do some preliminary research. But let's just think, let's look up mental health. And what do we see? We get 646,000 sources, overwhelming, many too many to really begin to explore. I had said I wanted to look at the stigma of mental health, but that too returns 48,000, almost 50,000 entries. So we need to add an additional element. What part of mental health are you interested in? Well, maybe we'll talk about depression. Well, now when we talk about the stigma of mental health and depression, which are our search terms, we come up with only 17,000. Now, that's still a lot, but it does give you the opportunity to begin to scan some of the titles and maybe read a few abstracts. So, in doing so, we notice this title. What are the challenges involved in the prevention of depression in schools? Well, now we've added an additional element to our topic. We know that the search engine uh, topic was stigma mental health, so that's there. And then we want prevention. And now we're talking about younger people. So when we look at younger people, perhaps we want to add teenagers to our advanced search. And when we do so, and we're using mental health, stigma, depression, and teenagers as our key search terms, we come up with 1,800 results. And that's much more manageable, not that you're going to read 1,800 titles, but you can scan and have a much narrower focus. And perhaps something will pop out to you, something that resonates with what you had in mind. And we see this. Do depression, literacy, mental illness, beliefs, and stigma influence mental health seeking attitudes? A cross-sectional study of secondary school and university students? Well, now we've gotten something that can bring us to the research question. Does the stigma of mental health have negative effects on the treatment and prevention of teenage depression? We now have a research question that we can explore. We can look at different positions and attitudes and research on the topic and begin to form our own opinion, take our own position, and approach a thesis with an argument in mind.